Welcome to Creating Disney Magic with Lee Cockrell. Lessons in leadership, management, and customer service. You can create magic too. I'm your host, Jody Mayberry, and I'm joined with Lee Cockrell, the retired executive vice president of Walt Disney World. How is it in Orlando, Lee? All is good. It's getting warm. I can't wait to get my electric bill and go into shock. So, uh, but it's all good. We're good. We, we have the opposite in in this part of the country that summer is when our electric bill almost disappears <laughs> well you're a lucky man i don't i don't mind it but as you know lee we quite often take our vacation to florida in the summer which doesn't make sense you should be coming here in the summer instead of me going there because it's so hot in florida but if you want to take a vacation this summer call our friends at Magical Vacation Planner. You can reach them at 407-442-2694. Let them know you want to go to, well, really, they can do any of the parks, the cruise lines, inclusive vacations. I I heard a rumor they just added a new all-inclusive resort in Dominican Republic. Lee, have you been to the Dominican Republic? I have not, but I know a lot of people have. They really enjoy it down there. It's close by. It's not too far. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've been there twice and and enjoyed it both times. It is it's a neat yeah. place. Yeah. Well, this week, Lee, I wanted to talk about something that comes up a lot in the Main Street Leader. If you're not familiar with the Main Street Leader, it is a monthly newsletter that that Lee and I put out. It's got wonderful articles by Lee about leadership, management, culture, customer service, and one of the recurring themes almost every volume there is something about pre-shift meetings and i'm looking at volume 33 right now and it says pre-shift meetings are the perfect place to remind everyone every day about your expectations and pump up the team to win big when delivering to your customers and team members now there are some elements that Lee says should be included in every pre-shift meeting. Perhaps we'll go over those. But what I'm interested in, Lee, is why are pre-shift meetings so important that you include them in the Main Street Leader so often? Yeah, well, I think, you know, we always talk about communication uh, and clarity and what we're supposed to be working on and our role in the, our jobs and uh, what we're trying to uh, create and uh, the impression we're trying to make with our customers. And, and uh, you know, it's like I, you think back about uh, in sports, they always have the huddle and they always have that last, okay, guys, let's focus on this. Let's focus on that. Let's get out there. Uh, and it's that that it's that moment to bring everybody in and uh, say, okay, it's game time. You know, we've all been fuddling around, getting ready. Uh, we're all here now. You drove in, you're stressed out from the traffic. Uh, uh, now let's all get focused. We're about to put on the show. And everybody today, let's focus on uh, the older people. Let's focus on the children. And let me tell you about some special people who are coming in today and we really want to take care of them. Uh, let me remind everybody that every day you should do this before you leave your shift and when you arrive your shift and make sure you got your name tags on and you're looking great and good, looking good. And it's kind of that just five minutes of, okay, let's all remember now it's game time. And uh, it just brings everybody together and you can reinforce you every day you can introduce a different subject so people don't go around saying i don't know what's going on around here which is the number one thing people say about communication nobody tells me anything i don't know how what we're uh, you know this is just it's just so basic and so easy to pull everybody together for a little five minute six minute uh, get let's go out and play the game and here's a strategy and each one of you have an important role in the game and I'll be here and if you need me I'm the manager which means I'm the coach and if you need something resources you need anything you got a cup problem with a customer or each other just come and see me I'll get involved and we'll we'll, uh, we'll win this game and uh, you know uh, it's just so easy it costs you nothing and it's a great education, just five minutes a day, you know, okay, so that's, uh, you know, 25 minutes a week, uh, or 26 hours a year, it all adds up, uh, that you're, it's a way to educate short term, and uh, to inspire, and to get people fired up to go win, 
and to remember what they're doing and uh, get off of worrying about the traffic and traveling at home. It's it's game time. And uh, so anybody who does that before you unlock the door and let the guests in, uh, you're going to have a better better uh, better situation. You're going to have happier customers. You're going to have more focused uh uh, employees that are doing what they're supposed to be doing and you've just reminded them what they're supposed to be doing and so they can get out of their mind all the negative things they've had going on before they got to work today and they can let you know what they need what they're short of what uh, anything they need to have the right uh, they know the plays and uh, you tell them what to do when this happens what to do when that happens and they know the game plan so it's that it's just kind of that simple to give those analogies because uh you know, anything we do well, it's nice to have a little pre-plan before we go, you know, uh, uh, have a little conversation about what we're doing, where we're going, what time we get in there. Even if you're going on a trip, the whole family may sit and talk about it for a few minutes. Okay, guys, we're going, we're going to the airport. When we get there, we're going to do this, this, this. Uh, everybody keep an eye on your stuff. And uh, it's a reminder to focus on what's important right now. And then... Uh, uh, it's like what was that movie where they people went on vacation and they left their son at home home alone home alone <laughs> yes. they should have had a meeting <laughs> because the next thing you know they're uh, in an airplane flying and they look around and they forgot their son because they didn't have a plan of a huddle and make sure everybody's there and we have somebody at disney finally with seven kids they all got in the van and drove off and they left their little two or three year old in the parking lot and they didn't realize it until they got to the first stop halfway to Tampa to get coffee or something. <laughs> and they didn't have them. We had them. Our security had them. We <laughs> saw them going like, you know, you can get distracted and uh, easy to walk away. And so uh, that's all before we drive away. Do we, is everybody here? <laughs> you know, that's a, just a little simple thing. But it's just a, it's having a game plan, reminding people what the game plan is, what we're doing here, and we want to win today what you do well i will give you even more insight so when lee writes about pre-shift meetings in the main street leader he lists what pre-shift meetings are for so i'm going to tell you all those items this is straight from the main street leader so this is like a, an extra bonus on this episode of creating disney magic so lee says why do you have pre-shift meetings and th these are the items that he lists. And, and quite often he lists these every time to communicate with the team, to tell the team what is important, to thank the team for their great work, to answer any questions, to provide knowledge, to find out what they need, to inspire the team. So every time Lee writes about pre-shift meetings, he lists those items out. So Lee, you make it pretty clear that you are – repeating these because yeah. you want leaders managers to know that's what pre-shift meetings are for so you yeah. you've got to use them the right way you don't want to to you know drown them with numbers or all that if it's not important so now that i've read those lee talk a little bit more about those items in pre-shift meetings yeah and i think you give a chance to the people to ask questions that maybe they don't realize you know what they have a need for something or some piece of equipment they need to do their job is not working. They can bring that up. And, uh, and uh, so that's just a group of people talking about uh, the business, but we talk about safety in those meetings. Let's be careful today. You know, this is going on or that's going on and be careful when you walk on the kitchen floor or, um, you know, just generally uh, any communication. And, you know, in mine, I would just write it in my daytime or there's several things I wanted to bring to their attention today. And it becomes a habit. I do it every day. And uh, uh, today I may be asking them any questions do you have? Anything I can do for you? Tell me what you need. Uh, I want you to feel good. We're, we're, we're an A team here. We're not the B team. And we're going to go out there and... Uh, uh, Anything you need and want, this is the time to ask. And then we'll start the game. And uh, I will bring you knowledge every day, what things you need to know that I believe that you will do a better job if you know these things. And uh, you'll be able to take better care of the customers. And, uh, you know, we might be talking today about the weather. You know, the weather's predicted to be bad today, guys. So I'm not sure we're going to have as many customers today. But be careful out there when you go to your cars tonight. Uh, you know, Anything you can tell people that uh, is uh, pertinent 
and something that will help them be better, do better, and uh, feel better, and uh, feel and understand that they are an important part of the game. Everybody is a player, and we want you all in this game. We want everybody to play at their best. So we're going to make sure you're in good shape, and you got all the right plays, and you got the knowledge you need. And uh, and then I'm going to step back and let you all go play the game. And uh, people just remember when you do it every day, it just is. Edu every day you're learning something new and different and you know that this is a time when you can say anything you want you can bring it up or you can make a suggestion um yeah so do it all right lee if we've never had a pre-shift meeting it's just not part of the culture of our organization yeah. but i hear what you're saying and i say okay i i have my team and i want my team to have pre-shift meetings if we've never done one before, how do you propose getting this started, helping your team, well, getting your team to buy in on pre-shift meetings and what to do with the first one? Yeah, I mean, I would just call them together. Uh, you know, maybe have everybody come in 10 minutes earlier next Monday and I say, we're going to start something new, guys. We've learned that uh, this is a great communication tool. I'm hearing too often that somebody doesn't know what's going on or they have a question and uh, we've gotten complaints about that. Uh, we're also hearing from customers that uh, some of you don't know the answers to their questions. And so we're going to just start a five minute meeting. You're all going to be here anyway. And before I unlock the door, uh, we're going to have this little five minute section to make sure you got everything you need and I've got everything and I've, it, I have communicated everything to you and uh, you, it's required for you to be there. And uh, so you just start it and it becomes a new thing. And very almost nobody's going to say, oh, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, because there's nothing bad about it. It doesn't take any time. It takes a few minutes. And, you know, some days it may be a three minute meeting. Some days it may be an eight minute meeting. Depends what you got on your mind, what's going on, uh, and what uh, what how many important things you got to tell people. And by the way, uh, they'll do a better job, and they'll be happy. They got the answers. There's nothing worse than a customer asking you something you don't know. You say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, you will know because we're going to go over the important things every day, uh, and over time, 365 days a year, we're going to have it. You may not be here every day, but the days you're here, you're going to know more than you would have. And uh, knowledge is the name of the game. That's how you serve people better. That's how you uh, uh, customers are happier. Knowledge is what they want. They When they ask you something, you know the answer. <laughs> you don't have to say, I don't know. <laughs> I have to go look. You should know. It's your job. These are things you should know. That's what we're going to go over. And you got new employees all the time. And you got people who've been away on vacation and they're coming back. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of things, uh, shift changes, different changes. Some people don't work together. It's another group on Saturday that it is on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, this is just a, uh, yeah, like your mother might have had when you were 14, you're going out. She had a little pre shift meeting with you to tell you what to do and be careful and, you know, uh, all those kinds of things. Communication is the name of the game. I don't ever want people to say I work with Lee and I never know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, if you want to learn more about pre-shift meetings, the main street leader is a great way to do that. If you go to cockrellacademy.com, you can sign up for the main street leader. It's $10 a month. If you're not sure if it's for you or you want to give it a try, I'm pretty sure there is an option to get the first volume for free on cockerelacademy.com just sign up we'll send you the first one for free and i want to remind you about the 500th episode celebration coming up i try to make sure every one of these episodes is timeless that it doesn't matter when you listen to it the information is relevant well this is one of the times where the information is timely because the 500th episode celebration is may 6th at 6 p.m eastern time we want you to join us to celebrate there we're going to have a lot of fun there's going to be a lot of giveaways and you can register at leecockerell.com slash 500 and we really want to see you there and come join us celebrate with us for the 500th episode uh, lee did you ever imagine 500 episodes when we started this 10 years ago 
I did not. I had no idea. <laughs> I thought we'd, I didn't even know what we were doing when we started. <laughs> and it, it just kind of took on a life of its own. And uh, we got so much great feedback from them. And, you know, I think what we did that we exceeded 4 million downloads or, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot, lot of interest in it. And I've get, received so much feedback over the years. So thanks for that session. It really helped me. I learned something today and I implemented it in my own company. I implemented it with my employees. I, I mean, I we get feedback every week about uh, a good friend of mine who's very famous in the hospitality business. He got some awards yesterday, and I wrote him and congratulated him. He said, I listen to every single recording you make. And I said, wow, that's pretty impressive. So we don't know. Our influence and our experience and our knowledge, it's just the way we share it. And hopefully people can have a better life, a better career based on the mistakes I've made. So. Well, Lee, I was speaking in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and the MC of the event, we're up at the front table right by the stage, and and she said, I just figured out who you are. And I, and I said, oh, who, who am I? And she said, you, you're the host of Creating Disney Magic with Lee Cockrell. I don't miss an episode. Oh, man. Yep. I had one at the, when I was at my coffee place, a lady – Turned around and said, are you Lee Cockrell? And she said, I heard you talking to this person. I recognized your voice. I was going, good grief. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. We've, we've had that's that. Really fun. It yeah. is. It's really fun. We've had that before where Lee and I have been sitting at Coffee for the Soul and someone recognizes us by voice, not by sight. So <laughs> always interesting. Well, if you, again, leecockrell.com slash 500, join us for the big celebration on May 6th. We, we'd love to see you there. Until next week, go out and create magic for others.